What's up guys, this is HardwareHobbyist.com, I'm Max. And this is Bill. Alright, so this is uh, video 4 of our unboxing section of the custom PC building guide. And this will cover the power supply we have, which is the Corsair TX 850 Watt. So, this power supply is um, it's pretty nice, it's not that expensive, and it's uh, very reliable. Tons of people have bought it and have been happy with it, and Corsair is usually a good company to buy power supplies from. As you can see, it is, um, it's got a five year warranty there, which is really nice as well. 80 plus efficiency. Yeah, I'll talk about more of that later. And um, SLI ready, which means that it, it's got more than, um, more than one or two of the uh, PCIe connectors so you can attach two graphics cards there. Uh -huh. Okay, so um, quick thing again, um, all over the box there's, you know, information about, you know, the latest and greatest technology they have. Um, so you definitely want to check that out when you're looking to buy a power supply. So, alright, so we have a nice pamphlet from Corsair advertising their TX series. Um, these are non-modular power supplies, but we don't really need modular um, power supply in our case. Uh, cable ties, pretty nice for them to include. Um, a case badge, can't really see it, but that's always good. Um, and of course, screws for mounting the power supply. Um, comes packaged in foam here, and Corsair likes to take care of their products, so they give everyone a nice bag. Here's um, your AC adapter. Yeah, Before. just rolls out. So Corsair <laughs> likes to give everyone a nice velvet bag for uh, carrying their power supply around. I guess if you want to go to a LAN or something. Then you but, take um, your computer part and put it back <laughs> in the bag and yeah. assemble it there. Um, but it's pretty <laughs> nice of them. Um, these PSUs, again, like Max said, are really popular. I mean, top rated on sites like Newegg. So definitely can't go wrong. But again, um, you know, there's definitely other power supplies, but we got this one. It was just a great deal. Okay, so here's the power supply. Again, non-modular, so that means that uh, all the cables are just hardwired to the power supply. You can't really take any of them out. Um, I don't really want to untie this for fear of bunching it up or that, but um, yeah. So one thing you want to look at is uh, the detailed description of. You can't really read it, but. Um, of basically the power distribution for um, the PSU, uh, you know, the plus 5 volt, plus 3.3, and um, most importantly, the plus 12 volt, which is basically going to be um, the rail that's going to be supporting the important components in your computer, such as um, your CPU and your graphics cards. So the amperage on that is definitely um, something you want to look into. Um, again, nothing too fancy about this power supply. Uh, it's got a what is this, 140 millimeters, I believe? Yeah, I think so. Um, basically as intake. So in our case, we're going to be bottom mounting this. This is going to be intake. Basically going to be taking cool air from the bottom and just expelling it out. Um, in general, your power supplies, I'm just going to untie this. So it's going to be a little bit messy. Clean back up later, but um, in general, when you're buying a power supply, you want to make sure that you have the necessary connections. Like Max was mentioning, if a power supply is SLI certified, basically means that it'll be able to support multiple video cards without a problem. Um, wow, holy crap. Video cards um, usually do come with a, an adapter that will take a couple of Molex ones, which are uh, these four pin cables, and you can stick that in and it will convert it to a PCIe connector. but. Typically, if your power supply doesn't have the connectors on it already, then it's typically um, uh -huh. it's not very good <clears throat> to do that because you run the risk of um, running drawing too much power from it, and then it could fail. Uh huh. So, you know this. So, some key connections you want is basically the 24 pin motherboard connector. Uh, a lot of times, it's 20 plus four. In case you want to get up to case. a really old motherboard that doesn't have the extra four, uh -huh. but every modern motherboard will have the 24. Uh -huh. um, right here you have your PCI Express connections, so these are basically for your graphics cards. I think this PCI actually comes with... Is that the CPU? Or the GPU, no this is the 8 pin. Yeah. So this is the 8 pin for um, the CPU motherboard. 
um, just providing extra power for the CPU. These are, I think, four? This might be more. So these are the PCI Express graphics cards connectors. These are 6 plus 2 pins. So for all your latest and greatest graphics cards, these will definitely be able to um, give enough power. So these just plug directly into your um, graphics card. Don't really recommend the, um, the Molex converters for what Max just said. Um, here, three pin fan connector. So we just did our fan video. Is this? Yeah. I think this is the floppy power. <laughs> oh, okay, my bad. Max says it's, more. Yeah. Yeah, so, the, so if any guys are in the Stone Age, <laughs> using fl floppy connectors, there you go. Um, here is a SATA connector, power for your um, CD drives and your hard drives. Always good. Um, here's your Molex connectors if you want to use any adapters or you um, just need them for fans, etc. So again, one of the cons of a non-modular power supply is just that there are a ton of cables. So definitely going to require some cable management to get the maximum airflow. Um, good thing is Corsair was nice enough to braid them, so, um... It looks good. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, they're pretty easy to manage. So, going more in depth in terms of just looking for power supplies. Um, I'll actually look on the box here. So, one of the most important things I'd say is the 80 plus certification. Um, 80 plus is basically, um, and I, I don't actually know if that's the company name, but they basically test power supplies for their efficiency. Um, what a power supply's efficiency meaning means is basically um, the power they draw from the wall, so kind of the socket power, and then the power that's actually converted for your computer to use. So in terms of 80 plus, that means that over 80% of the power drawn from the wall is used to power your computer, and naturally that'll lead to less energy wasted, so less heat, and um, less power consumption, so your power bills are gonna be um, lower as well. Um, there are different levels, such as 80 plus bronze, 80 plus silver, gold, and I think now there's platinum. Um, so it's definitely one of the things you want to look for in terms of a power supply, that efficiency for saving you um, energy in the long run. And also, typically the power supplies with the higher efficiency ratings are actually built um, to higher specifications and will last you a longer time. And you'll be um, you'll typically run into much less problems with them. Mm -hmm. The power supply, I would say, if you're ever gonna um, skimp out on a component of your computer, it's definitely not going to be the power supply because the power supply is going to be providing power to all your expensive computer parts, and this is definitely the one thing that you don't want to skimp out on. Um, definitely the most important in terms of picking out power supplies. Again, like we mentioned before, sites such as Newegg, Amazon. Um, one site I like in particular, johnnyguru.com, going to be um, in the description. Great site for power supply reviews. Um, they basically look at the efficiency, um, the build quality, um, and you know, basically how they perform in comparison to other power supplies. So, and if, if ever you want more information, just give it a Google search and uh, so much information will come up. Mm -hmm. So again, definitely want to check out the efficiency, number one, build quality, um, warranty. Um, usually, you know, the better companies will give better warranties. So companies such as Antec, Corsair, XFX. Um, don't want to miss anyone out. Cooler Master has some nice PSUs. Uh, Ultra, maybe? Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> so yeah, this has okay. been uh, the TX 850 watt power supply by Corsair. Alright guys, um, next video will be all about the motherboard, so look forward to that. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Hardware Hobbyist out.